Hey, what's up everybody? Snowy, back with another video. And today what I have for you guys is my first day review of Rainbow Six Extraction. I've been super hyped for this game for months now, and I'm so glad it's finally out. But does it truly live up to the hype? That's what we're going to be finding out today. But before we get into the video, if you could take a moment to drop me a like and comment which operator you like playing as the most so far, it would truly make my day. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. First up, I just want to get my initial impressions out of the way, and then we can take a deeper dive into some of the game's systems and see how they fare for longevity. Rainbow Six Extraction is an awesome game that I recommend everyone try at least once. I don't believe the game is truly worth its $40 price tag for some gamers, unless you really enjoy other games like Back for Blood and World War Z. If you are into those types of games, however, then I have no doubt you'll get your money's worth out of this game, and you're going to have a fantastic time. Also, the fact that the game is on Game Pass makes it a must pick up if you are a Game Pass member, in my opinion. The game is a three player tactical alien shooter in which you and two other teammates go on various missions to complete randomized objectives. The game is very repetitive, however, at this point, so whether or not you will enjoy the game for the long term will depend on whether or not you enjoy what there is to offer. I personally love these types of games, and if you're just looking for some stress-free fun, then this could be the game for you. There are plenty of operators, gadgets, levels, and modes to keep you interested for quite some time, but the type of content will always be generally the same. If you're still unsure about the game, then I recommend seeing if any of your friends have picked it up and asking them if they'll use their buddy pass on you. This will give you 14 days to try the full game for free, and then you'll be better informed as to whether or not you want to pick it up for yourself. Before we start breaking the game's systems down, I just once again want to reiterate that anyone with Game Pass should pick it up and try it, as you have nothing to lose. So, next up, I want to talk about all of the operators that are on offer. Um, there are 18 playable operators uh, that made their way over from Rainbow Six Siege, and all of them have some really awesome guns, gadgets, and abilities. In the background, you can see all 18 of them. Each operator has 3 to 4 primary weapons for you to pick from, and 2 secondary options as well. There are a ton of different React gadgets for you to equip, ranging from stun grenades to mines to laser beams. React gadgets are equipable on all operators and can really enhance the playstyle you're going for. All of the operators also have very different abilities and you can uh, find abilities that work together best with your friends to try to form the best team comp possible. Overall I think Ubisoft really knocked it out of the park in this category, but next up let's check out some, some of the gameplay. The gameplay in Rainbow Six Extraction is intense and you're going to need to be making great callouts to your teammates and also watching your back at all times. The gameplay is very repetitious and addictive and it makes you want to dive in for just one more run. The missions have four different types of difficulty that you can set them to and you will reap more rewards the higher you're willing to set it. Watch out though because the higher difficulty also means way more enemies and in Rainbow Six Extraction, if you go down as your operator, they get trapped by the aliens on said level and you'll have to go back into that mis mission and rescue them later on. Rainbow Six Extraction is all about risk versus reward and I think Ubisoft nailed the gameplay loop. Next up, I want to go over some of the end game activities in Rainbow Six Extraction. Mailstorm Protocol is the name of the in-game mode. Most missions in Rainbow Six Extraction have three subzones you're going to have to work your way through, but Maelstrom has nine. This is going to be some of the hardest content in the game that you and your friends are going to have to power through. The great news is that Maelstrom Protocol has set in stone modifiers, meaning the mission is going to be the same each and every time you run it. 
This will allow you and your friends to come up with strategies and methods to keep improving run after run. Maelstrom Protocol is also on a one week rotation, so it will be switching up often, giving you and your friends a brand new challenge often. The final interesting thing about Maelstrom Protocol is that it has ranks. You and your friends will be ranked after completion into a category, either bronze, silver, gold, or diamond. This will allow you to unlock cosmetic items such as helmets and uniforms and more to show off just how amazing you are at the game. The final tidbit of info about in-game content is that there is a mode coming in the future, most likely Season 1, called a Crisis Event. This is going to allow us to unlock new operators and fight new alien types. It's going to come with its own uh, exclusive time mode, which seems to be a wave-based onslaught, pitting you against tons of Archean threats. This is all, in my opinion, fantastic, and will give people a reason to come back for a long time, even if it's just hopping on for once a week uh, for a quick match of Maelstrom. The final thing I want to cover in today's video is the in-game cosmetic shop. There are definitely some interesting items that you can purchase with real world money to say the least, and I know there are going to be a lot of people who hate these items. I understand where the controversy would be coming from in a game like Rainbow Six Siege, but this is extraction, and we're fighting aliens, throwing glue at them, and mowing them down with machine gun turrets, so I truly don't think it's that big of a deal. There's some goofy stuff in here, and if you're into it, go for it, but the game isn't pay to win, and the skins are only cosmetic. I want to end things off today by saying I think Ubisoft did a really great job with this game, and I love it so much to the point where I decided to make this channel about it. I just want to take a moment to say thank you all for watching. It means a lot to me, and I can't wait to build this community with you guys. I'll leave a link to my Discord in the description if any of you want to play the game with me as well. If you guys could like, uh, comment, and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Snowy out.